guys welcome back to my channel this is Luna over here I am a real estate agent here in Philadelphia so in today's video I like to talk about how I pre-qualify buyers so for those of you guys who follow me on my channel you guys know I based my majority of the business in listing but I do have 40% of my clients or buyers. So I focusing on, you know, majority of the buyers that are not first time home buyer. Not that I don't work with them. I have worked with the first time home buyers um, at the beginning of my journey selling real estate, but now I am majority of my clients are more of experienced real estate investors and people who are willing to pay down as a conventional loan. Um, I find that working with buyers, the most important thing is to definitely make sure your buyers are qualified, that they have the fund to pay for the property. And here are the five questions that I have listed for you guys to pre-qualify your buyers. The first one is definitely to go and ask them, are you already working with a realtor? And if they already are working with a realtor, which is, you know, Sometimes it happens when a Zillow leads that call you. Um, some of the time, some of the times they do have a realtor, and if they do, just let it go. If they don't, perfect. And then ask them the second question is: Have you spoken to a lender? Like, do you have a pre-approved letter? And then it moves on to: Do you have to sell your home, or are you currently renting? And this question is important because if they do have to sell their home, you can go ahead and ask them if they're already working with someone on the selling side. If not, then great, that will be another listing for you. If they do, perfect, it's fine. Um, but when you're purchasing a home, you just gotta be more careful because you need to put a contingency of upon them selling their previous home. And if they are a renter, make sure you ask them if they have good credit, if they've spoken to a lender, if you know they have money saved up to cover the closing cost. A lot of buyers they don't know anything about closing costs. They thought that you know if they save the 20% down payment, that's enough, but that's not the case. Typically, when you're buying or purchasing a house, you have to value into 7% of the selling price because that will be the closing cost. Um, I have a separate video that gives 10 hidden fees when purchasing a home. I'll link the link down below. And let's move on to the third question is, you have to understand and make sure that you know the location they're looking for. And that's really essential for me. When I qualify a buyer, if they're looking for somewhere that's two hours away from where I am, I typically just refer it out because it's it's too much for me to drive all the way there, show them houses and come back. It just it's, it's too much waste of my time and I find it's more efficient. Just get that as a referral. And is you gotta ask them, how many beds do they need? Um, how many bathroom and do they need a pool, the square footage, yard, basement, you know, all that kind of question. And fifth is any must haves. So this one is also really important because sometimes like I have done, like I've had buyers who has really nice cars and they said, I want to definitely have two attached car garage. They want to save their car and put that car inside of the house. So that's some must haves. And I've also had buyers who definitely need to have a basement or extra storage because they have a lot of kids, they have a lot of stuff for their business. So, you know, ask them what is the must have. And the sixth question that I will ask the buyer is, ideally, how soon do you want to move in? Like, do you have kids that need to go to school that you have to move in before the summer, before the school starts? Or like, how soon do you want to move in and take into account that a regular sale takes about 45 to 60 days to uh, complete the sale that's if, if you're lucky so if they're looking to move in within the three month period you got to go look at houses like every single day now to make sure that they are settled in after three months so the seventh question that i would ask is what is the best time for showings like when is the best time for me to you know, take you and your family to go see houses. And is it on the weekend or is it in the weekdays, in the evenings? Well, when is the best time for us to get together? And the last question is definitely go ask for their email address because on MLS, you can always set them up for auto email alert. So if they're looking for this specific area, you've already showed them multiple houses and they don't like anything. So set them up with automatic email alert. So that way every day when there's a new listing come up and they always get a email from you. So here are the eight questions that I'll give it to you all when you are a qualified buyer. And every single question, it's very important for you to get the answer from. So I'll also share a 
question list in the description box below. So thank you so much, you guys, for watching my channel and my video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.